Hi, um, my name is Danny Collins. Um, I'm originally from Lower Town Skull, but now living in Bantry the last 21 years. Um, I'm running my own business, the Boston Bar. And basically, look, I was co-opted onto my brother's seat um, three years ago, 2016, as he was co as he was elected TD for Cork South West, Michael Collins. Um, since then, I've been working with the people and different community groups and voluntary community organisations throughout West Cork. Um, basically to find funding um, to help them in all different ways throughout life. Look, I think our government have been forgetting d different issues throughout our, our region of West Cork and basically, look, I'm trying to highlight these issues and take them forward through council level and through my brother Michael Collins TD as he brings them up in the Dáil Aaron um, in his motions. Look, as the saying is, your health is your wealth. And look, our government haven't been really tackling this problem. We have waiting lists for up to years for operations. And basically, this is not good enough. Look, we have a theatre, top of the range theatre um, in Bantry Hospital. And basically, this is not being used enough. It's lying idle. And basically, what we need is surgeons to bring down there to carry up different procedures, whether it's cataract, our minor operations, basically to take off the workload off CUH in Cork. Um, since 2017, December, we've um, organised 32 buses to the north for cataract procedures. These are people who have been on the waiting list for five, six, seven years. And look, basically, look, this is a minor, minor procedure. And the people's faces after they get this procedure done is unreal. And like, they can't believe why is this procedure not being done in the south? This is a, a wrong trip of over a thousand kilometres, you see, for a lot of people. Um, look, again, I've been calling for our Minister of Health to deal with these issues, but it seems to be um, falling on deaf ears. And this is just not good enough. Our elderly and our young are being treated very bad and being forgotten about. And basically, true, again, Cork County Council, I've called on the Minister to open the a &E, which is closed by night in, in Bantry Hospital. And uh, like, this is not good enough. It, people have to travel from the Bearer, Mizzen, Sheepshead Peninsula to go to CUH at night, at different hours of night. What is happening, our government? Can I not see the bigger picture? Look, um, farming and fishing are one of the main industries in West Cork. And basically, look, I have called for a standalone minister for agriculture and a standalone minister for fishing and marine. Our suckler and bee farmers are getting 100 to 150 or less for um, their cattle to their counterparts in the north. Why is this happening? Like, you know, they're blaming Brexit, but basically, it's down to our factories. They have too much say of what's happening to, over our government. Our fishing industry, our fishermen and women, they're, they feel like, like foreigners in their own seas. Too much regulations. Again, our government are blaming Europe, but our Europe tells our, us it's down to your government. They are laying down the regulations. Again, I've called for Minister of Fisheries to be appointed, especially to deal with this issue. I believe our Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries that's there at the moment is not dealing with these issues. And basically, look, these have to be tackled head on, especially now, as I said earlier, about the, with the Brexit issues going on. Well, like, as you know, tourism is a, an essential key to keep um, West Cork um, vibrant. And look, I was saddened there in our last budget that a four and a half increase in the VAT rate for the tourism sector. This is shocking. Uh, our Minister of Tourism, what's he thinking? Like, they're thinking about Dublin where they have 12 months of the year of business. Down here in West Cork, we have only four or five months, basically. And look, our hotels, restaurants, guest houses, they're struggling and look, they're doing their best to keep their doors open, keeping employment. There should have been a separate um, uh, VAT increase for um, rural areas such as West Cork. But look, our minister thought better and he raised it to 4.5%. And look, this is just basically down to pure and utter ignorance from our government. So if I do get elected on the 24th of May, I will be keep on pushing for extra funding for our tourist um, 
organizations throughout West Cork. And again, as well, I will be also calling again for a separate minister for fisheries and marine and a separate minister for agriculture. Two big industries throughout the West Cork region. Look, um, there's a lot of different issues out there. Um, you have roads. Basically, we're not getting the proper funding down here in the south. Um, our roads are diabolic in a lot of areas throughout the West Cork region. Um, I've called on a, a Cork County Council to lift the embargo for um, on council staff. We need extra council staff, I believe, on our roads to um, free our gullies and and our, our and do extra work on our roads. Um, basically, environment. We see what's happening with the Bantry Bay Kelp Group. A license was granted in Bantry where it could have been revoked. Our minister did not do this again. But the people of the area have been left down. It was not advertised properly. Look, again, these are just issues and there are many, many more.